In this video from Device Doctor, we will show the problem of the Epson L3256 printer blinking when it turns on and not working. If you have this problem, please watch the whole video with us. If you're having trouble with your printer, you can fix it for free on your own. If you have any technical questions or aren't sure which printer to buy, just ask us for expert advice and free support. As you can see, this is the Epson L3256 printer. When we turn on the printer, two lights start blinking and don't stop. The printer doesn't print and the print head doesn't move at all. This usually means that the waste ink pad is full and the printer needs to be reset or serviced. To start the first step, connect the printer to your computer using the USB cable. Now download the special file from the link in the description. After downloading, make sure to extract it from the zip file. Please watch the video until the end to support us. After extracting the file, open the folder. Important note, disable your antivirus. Before opening the file, ensure that your antivirus software is turned off. Antivirus may delete the file. If your antivirus is active, it may automatically detect the file as a virus and delete it. Now, please copy the password saved in the notepad file. You'll need it in the next step. Now open the main program and paste the password you copied earlier. This will unlock the program. Now that the program is open, click on Select and choose your printer model and the correct port. Now check the port to see how your printer is recognized. Epson L3256 is usually detected as L3250. So don't worry if the name looks a little different and from the model name section, select L3250. Now open the particular adjustment mode option. Now find the Waste Ink Pad Counter option and open it. Now check all three boxes and click on the check button. If the printer's memory is full, it means the problem will be fixed after resetting. But if the memory is not full and the lights are still blinking, the issue might be caused by something else. As you can see in this printer, the waste ink memory is completely full. It has reached 100%. After resetting, the printer will definitely return to its normal working condition. Now check the boxes again, then click on the initialize button. After that, confirm the reset to start the process. And just like that, the printer has been successfully reset and the problem is fixed. Now, simply turn the printer off and then turn it back on.
the printer problem has been successfully fixed and the two lights are no blinking. Everything is back to normal now. Now, perform a nozzle test to check the color performance. When the printer is off, press and hold the cancel button first, then press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you, please like and share it. Your support means a lot to us. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful videos from Device Doctor.